G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a quick little video speaking about State of Origin last night. I was there, lucky attendance for game number three. Uh, and the Blues got the win, 24 points to 10. Congratulations to them. Uh, look, I'm going to be speaking about how I thought players performed, how I thought they underperformed, and the overall result of this match. So let's start off with the Queensland Maroons, obviously winning the series, the first two games, coming to New South Wales for this whitewash was always going to be tough and obviously we hope to see it, but for the Blues fans, they uh, the Blues really turned up, you know, a lot of changes to their side and, you know, they kept the Maroons quiet, I, I think DCE's kicking game was really off. I kept saying to Dad, you know, he's putting them up long field. He's not finding ground. Um, he's not doing, you know, those high bombs that we've seen him do as well. So, yeah, I thought the kicking game from DCE was really, really off. I don't think Munster was bad. I do think he was quiet. I just don't think he was enough involved in the game. But I don't think he got his opportunities to. And overall, I think he's had a good series. I just think this particular game, they didn't give him any ball. Uh, Murray Talungi, a really, really strange game from Murray Talungi. Attacking-wise, a few really good runs, really, really good run. Uh, Defensive-wise, read-wise, pretty, pretty awful. Um, probably one of Queensland's most disappointing for the night, uh, considering he's been, you know, good uh, for the most part and a try-scoring machine throughout the series. As for AJ Brimson, I think he was good, but I don't think, you know, he doesn't have that X factor about him that, you know, Ponga, Walsh kind of have and bring to the table. And I think I think Reese Walsh was really missed last night. I think, you know, I think there was an opportunity to come back from 18-10. I really do. If Reese Walsh was there, who knows what would have happened? Because, you know, the Blues, they played with a, a massive amount of intensity. But, yeah, you'd go back to that Adelaide game. you go back to that comeback. And I, I think that if we had, you know, Reese Walsh in this side, which I thought he had a good game in Game 2, but a lot of errors uh, in Game 2. But I'm, I really... Reese Walsh was so important to this series for the Maroons, and it's it's gone over my head, and I've I've thought more about it, and it's facts. Uh, Ruben Cotter, I mentioned as my pick for man of the series, he had a nice game as well, early impact, um, big minutes as well. I think he played bigger minutes, if I'm not mistaken, than Lindsay Collins. Lindsay Collins, when he came on, was looking fantastic, and Corey Horsburgh um, coming off the bench was absolutely massive. Um, yeah, he had some really good carry. I think he might have had an offload or two as well. Really good Maroons debut for Corey Horsburgh. But yeah, Lindsay Collins, man, he's had a fantastic series. You know, leaping over Tedesco. Um, he, he's been, I'm trying to remember what he did in game two. Uh, he did something absolutely crazy. Uh, he, he's been really, really, really solid for the Maroons. And uh, he'll be in that side for a long time to come, at least in the next three years. Because, you know, he's, he's still still fairly young. And I see them picking him. Um, someone that I do want to speak about is Mo Fotowaker. Now, Mo Fotowaker has been in great form for years, gets that opportunity at the Maroon. I, I actually thought he was disappointing. I thought it was underwhelming. I just don't think he did enough off the bench. I thought he had some carry. I thought he was stopped and dragged back a couple of times. So, yeah, I don't know about Mo in the side next year. Obviously, it was a decision made for this game. Um, and we'll, we'll have to kind of wait and see there. Uh, but yeah, as I mentioned, AJ Brimson, he was good, just didn't provide the X factor, but still good in that side, um, you know, a good backup player um, for that Maroon side. Uh, Nanai was decent, uh, David Fafida was very good in the first half, I don't know where he went in the second half, you know, the Maroons didn't score any points in the second half, so I guess that's expected that they, you know, kind of went missing. Uh, Xavier Coates, very mixed game, uh, more good than bad, better than Talangi in my opinion. But yeah, the Maroons, they take home the Shield with a 2-1 series win. But let's speak about the New South Wales Blues. So as for the Blues, I while I was at the game, I knew that he was good, but I didn't know that he was great. Now, James Tedesco, uh, I've read he had 11 tackle breaks. I've read he's over 200 metres, which is, you know, he does that per game. I've read he had a try assist. So, you know, Teddy had a massive game um, in Sydney there last night. So, you know, if he's finding his form, finding his feet, congratulations to him. But can you risk picking him over, you know, someone like Dylan Edwards, Scott Drinkwater, who it's it's their time. It really is. Tedesco's been there for a long time. 
and this is one great game out of three games. So, yeah, I don't know. But congratulations to James Tesco on a fantastic game. Both of the wingers, Toto and Okar, scoring tries. They were fantastic. Um, Stephen Cro both are centres, you know. Stephen Crichton and Bradman Best. Bradman Best scoring a double. Lots of great runs from Bradman Best. Lots of support running as well. Something that New South Wales, you know, they might have someone in front of everyone, but no one supporting, which I think was a big part of their, their try scoring opportunity. Uh, I thought Reese Robson was quiet. I think his minutes were fairly limited as well. Maybe he was, was I had a blinder, maybe just where I was sitting. Um, but yeah, I thought Reese Robson was, was quiet. I thought Cook was, was good, did the job. Um, obviously missed a lot of tackles there in the centers in game two and definitely responded with a much better game in game uh, number three. Now, Cody Walker was fantastic for mine. I've seen some people say that he didn't deserve man of the match. I can understand where you're coming from because I do have probably Stephen Crichton over him. Some people have James Tedesco over him, uh, but I thought he had a really good game. He's been in really good form this year, and he just continued that on. Uh, Liam Martin, a mixed night for Liam Martin, a few errors in his game, some nice runs, you know, did the job, but um, yeah, a couple errors in his game. Kolomatangi in his Blues debut. Um, again, I don't think he made any errors, but he had a few good runs, but he was kept fairly quiet for the most part all night. You know, it was mainly Bradman Best, James Tedesco, Cody Walker, that side opening up and scoring, you know, long-range tries. Um, some of them right in front of me. So, uh, but yeah, you know, congrats to him. 24 points to 10. Um, it's a really great result for them as well. You know, Obviously, a couple of players for the Maroons missing, but still a very full strength side. Um, and, you know, 18 10 to, to keep that lead and not only keep that lead and keep the Maroons who have beaten you in games one and two, where this is kind of a game that does and doesn't matter. And for, to keep them scoreless, I think it's a great effort by the New South Wales Blues. And I think going forward, I tell you what, Cody Walker, he's probably got to be in that side, hasn't he? He's probably got to be that number six over Jerome Luai, even though Cleary will just say, please, 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 but, you know. Uh, but, yeah, that's probably about it for this video. Um, there were some good tries last night. The J Josh Addo Carr try was fantastic. I mentioned in my uh, in my vlog that, da you know, David Fafita and Hammer, uh, as good as they were scoring tries, there were no tries, you know, scored off kicks. They were all kind of luck for Queensland, whereas New South Wales were using actual skill and, you know, support, running, things like that. Bradman Best, New South Wales debut, two try, fantastic game. Congratulations to him. He shut us all up. But, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you let me know your man of the match in the comment. Did you enjoy Origin last night? Are you looking forward to Origin next year? Obviously, Queensland going back-to-back -back is going to make the Blue very, very hungry next year. And uh, I reckon game one will be at Suncorp. I reckon game one, they'll put it at Suncorp and then they'll give the Blues that opportunity of, you know, neutral ground and then, oh, sorry, uh, and then a core and then a neutral ground for a decider, potentially, which is re really weird. But yeah, make sure you like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And if you can't see, I am wearing a Western Bulldog shirt because I am heading to Sydney Swans Western Bulldogs tonight. Can't wait. That's my boys. I haven't seen them in, oof, I saw them about a year a year and three months ago but in sydney i haven't seen them in about four or five years so make sure you subscribe if you're new around here and i'll see you guys later